Shower curbs may be constructed of wood framing and sheathing, or masonry, and subsequently waterproofed using the schluter curdy membrane. This can be very time-consuming work. Schluter Systems offers quick and easy to install alternatives to shower curbs constructed of traditional building materials. Schluter Curdy Board SC is a prefabricated shower curb constructed of the Schluter Curdy Board waterproof building panel that is specifically designed to integrate with the Schluter shower system. The shower curb is waterproof, lightweight, stable, load bearing, and easy to install. In this video, installation of the Curdy Board SC in a two-wall shower is demonstrated. Place the Curdy Board SC shower curbs around the shower base. Mark the curb to be cut using a straight edge. The curb may be cut using a utility knife or a hand saw. Check the curbs for proper fit. The shower curbs are installed using unmodified thin-set mortar. A 1 quarter inch by 3 8 inch square or U-notched trowel is used to apply the mortar. Apply a thin layer of mortar to the subfloor, wall, and edge of the shower tray with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the surface. And then comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel. Press the curb firmly into place, making sure the cut end is placed against the wall. Repeat the process for the adjacent curb. Verify that the curbs are level. To complete the integration of the Curdy Board SC, Schluter Curdy Band waterproofing strips and Schluter Curdy Carrick preformed corners are used to seal the curbs to each other, the shower base, and the walls. The shower base has already been waterproofed using the Curdy membrane. The Curdy waterproofing accessories are installed using unmodified thin set mortar. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency but still able to hold a notch. A 1 quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel, or the Schluter Curdy trowel, which features a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. The order in which the waterproofing accessories are installed may vary, provided that a minimum 2 inch overlap is achieved at all seams and cut ends of the Curdy Board SC. In this application, we begin by applying Curdy Band to the outside corner of the curb. Measure and cut the Curdy Band to a length equal to the height of the curb. Curdy Band may be creased prior to installation to help maintain tight corners and make subsequent tile setting as easy as possible. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the outside corner. Embed the curdy band into the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife. Our next step is to seal the inside corner where the two curbs meet. Measure and cut a section of curdy band to cover this inside corner from the surface of the shower base to the top of the curbs. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the inside corner. Solidly embed the curdy band into the thin set mortar. The next step is to install a curdy carrick preformed outside corner at the top of the inside corner where the two curbs meet. Apply unmodified, thin-set mortar to the area where the Curdy Carrick corner is to be installed. Embed the Curdy Carrick into the thin-set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife. Holding one side of the corner in place while embedding the other side in the mortar helps keep corner installation simple and easy. 
security band is used to seal the seam between the adjacent curbs. Measure and cut the bending to cover the seam on the outside and top of the curbs. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the junction between the two curbs. Embed the curdy band into the thin set mortar. Next, we will install a curdy Carrick preformed inside corner at the outside corner on top of the curb. Apply unmodified thin set mortar and solidly embed the corner. Finally, we will seal the curbs to the shower base, beginning with installation of Curdy Carrick inside corners using the same method demonstrated previously. Use Curdy Band to complete the seal between the curbs and shower base. Note that a two inch overlap can be achieved at Curdy Carrick without continuing Curdy Band all the way to the corner of the shower. This will limit buildup of the membrane in these areas and make setting small tiles easier. Repeat this process to seal all remaining joints, ensuring that the minimum 2-inch overlap is achieved at all transitions. The Schluter Curdy Board SC prefabricated shower curb offers a quick and easy alternative to curbs constructed of other building materials.